Hi everybody, it's Cindy in Oklahoma and I'm responding to a 20 guilty pleasures or 20 pleasures um, that Colleen Miss Cavalier did and um, so here goes, I've got them written down so I'm going to have to be looking down periodically to see what they say. Number one, we have a redwood swing in the backyard and it faces where you look over one of the pastures and you can see one of the ponds. And I love to sit out there in the mornings with a cup of coffee and just enjoy the surroundings. Two, I love nightgown and housecoat days and I've had over two weeks of those. I had a sinus infection, went to the doctor and they tested me for the flu did not have the flu, had a sinus infection. A week later, still wasn't any better, went back, they tested me for the flu, and I had the flu that time. The symptoms had changed a little bit, and like the doctor said, you probably got the flu when you were in here with the sinus infection. So this is the first day I have been amongst the living. I'm going to make probably two or three videos. I've been to my grandson's basketball game this morning. I love sitting on the dock over one of our ponds. We have a dock that goes out. And I love watching the, you know, throwing down crumbs or fish food or whatever and watching the, the fish swim around under the water. It, to me, it's just so relaxing. I love watching YouTube videos. And I love to lay in bed at night with my iPad and watch the videos. I know my husband gets tired of it sometimes. I turn the, the sound down quite a bit. I love wandering around Walmart in kind of a trance or a daze, just enjoying myself, looking at everything, mine somewhere else. I love baking bread. I don't get to bake it as much as I used to because my husband was diagnosed with adult onset diabetes a year ago, but occasionally I still do make bread and I make homemade pizza crust at least once weekly for the grandsons. I love going out for Chinese food because although I cook constantly, that is one cuisine that I have just not ever really mastered like I would like to. I love going to the closest small town we are in the country between two towns, one's eight miles, one's seven miles, but the one that's eight miles away is still typically your old town, there's no Walmart, there is a Dollar General and a grocery store and a tag agency and um, shops that go in and out constantly around along the old main street that's a block and a half long. And when I go down there, of course I know everybody there, I know all the shop owners, so I just wander around, go in and out and visit with people and really enjoy it. I love sitting around eating sherbet. I am a sherbet aholic. I love sherbet. I love Amazon. Amazon is the ultimate shopping experience. I have the Amazon Prime, so we've got that. I don't know what you, Rondo, Rondo, whatever it is we have. We have that hooked up to the TV, and I also have a Kindle, so I get free stuff constantly off there to read or watch on TV, and then I have the two-day shipping and so I love to shop because it's almost immediate gratification. I look, I love looking at wigs online and wig reviews. Um, I wear wigs almost all the time if some of you don't know. Um, I'm bald on top. So that's why my hair changes drastically and uh, I enjoy looking at all the different wigs. I like eating children's sugar-coated cereal dry, like Fruit Loops or one of those types, just like you would popcorn. One of my biggest uh, joys of life is spoiling my grandchildren, passing along to my children the, the wonderful things that my parents did, spoiling them. And I got criticized because, you know, mom, grandma lets me do it or grandma buys it for me or whatever. So now I can do the same for them and I really enjoy that. But I love seeing the grandkids excited. I love grocery shopping and I love to price match items at Walmart because they're the ones that put it on TV. They came into our small town and ran the, the, the other small town that's seven miles away. 
we got a super center in there and they ran out all the mom and pop shops. So I love price matching at Walmart. It's just kind of like my revenge on groceries at them running our little grocery stores that had wonderful meats out of business. I like watching the British comedies that come on the public broadcasting system, PBS, uh, the educational channels. Um, they have a sense of humor that we just don't have here. So I totally enjoy watching them. I love cooking a meal for my kids and my grandkids and have all my kid children and my grandchildren all around the table and my daughter's god sister and her family. Um, so we have more than one table going at that point. The kids usually have tables and the adults. But I love cooking all of it, putting it on the table, and seeing everybody enjoy it. I enjoy going in and packing up a load of stuff, no matter if it's kitchen items, clothing, wigs, whatever, and taking it to our outreach charity center here. Um, I also, when I get a bunch of food, really a good deal with coupons, they also have a food pantry at the, through the same church. It's not my church, but I love donating stuff to that. I love researching any subject online because I came from the days where we had the Dewey Decimal System in the library. Um, research wasn't instantly at your fingertip like it is nowadays, so I love the internet for research. I love going to my grandson's basketball game and I cheer for every child, no matter what team they're on. My husband goes, my daughter-in-law's parents go, her sister and her niece, and then my son and my daughter-in-law goes. So we have our own little reading section there. And no matter what the kid does, whose kid, kid it is, if we've ever seen the child before or not, we cheer and carry on for every basket or, or good path they make or whatever. And one of the most enjoyable things this time of year is the geese start coming in, the Canadian geese. The calves start coming. We've had three calves this year and they're all adorable. I love the rebirth of spring and all the baby animals, the bunnies we see hopping around and the birds in the nests and it's just like a renewal that, of God's promise that every year it begins again. I've enjoyed doing this. Maybe it's giving you a little insight to what kind of a simple person I am. But um, I want to take everybody to do this back simply because I enjoy hearing how other people live their lives and their joys. Y'all have a good weekend, and if you're in the northeast or north, I'm thinking about you and your storms. My heart's with you. Bye-bye.